Hello, I am Seamus Donahue of Eve University, and this video is about Project Discovery. Project Discovery is a new mini-game introduced by Crowd Control Productions, where you will be shown pictures of microscopic cells, and you will be asked to categorize them. You can do this in Station. I go to the Eve menu, Business, Project Discovery. All right. And let me... I'm not going to waste your time reading off the tutorial text to you. Um, so let me just get this out of the right way real quick. So this is the mini game in question. So Project Discovery shows you images of cells on the left hand side. And if you put your mouse over it, uh, you will be able to uh, get a closer look at any particular part of the image. If you want to lock the zoom in, just left click once and you can move your mouse wherever and the, the zoomed in portion will remain there. Left click again and you can change where it is that you're looking at. And without being locked in on any particular spot, if you mouse off of it, it'll just show you the entire image. Project Discovery is an example of something called Massive Multiplayer Online Science. What's going on here is that there is a real-world organization. This, this actually exists. It's actually a thing, independent of EVE Online. There's a real organization known as the Human Protein Atlas. And the Human Protein Atlas is basically taking is basically taking a bunch of cells, of hu human cells, and doing something to them called staining, which is basically just attaching... The, the best way to explain it is that they're essentially attaching paint that glows under certain kinds of light. Right? And there's a red staining, there is a yellow staining, and there is a blue staining. Right? And... So they stain these cells with these three different colored chemicals, and scientists at the Human Protein Atlas are trying to categorize each image. What is being? What has the green stuff stained in this image? What is the green stuff stained in that other image? What is the green stuff stained in yet this other image? There are a lot of images that need to be categorized in this manner. It is extremely difficult to get a computer to do this analysis. So the Human Protein Atlas, in cooperation with Crowd Control Productions, have, uh, is making these images available in CCP's new minigame, Project Discovery. Uh, so a lot of these images are going to be shown to players, and players will be asked to try and categorize the images as best they can. Uh, any given image will be shown to many different players and shown at random so that players can't game the system by providing false reports. Or at least that's the theory. How well that's going to turn out in practice remains to be seen, and I have heard uh, reports of problems uh, showing up on the EVE Online forums. But anyway. So the idea here is you're shown a picture and you need to figure out what things that the green stuff has stained. The red stuff always stains what's called the cytoplasm, which is the outer portion of a cell. The blue stuff uh, stains what's known as the nucleus, which is the inner portion of the cell that contains the DNA molecules. So the DNA molecules for any given cell, everybody's heard of DNA, the DNA is floating somewhere or in the nucleus, along with some other stuff. I will warn you up front, I'm not actually a biologist, so some of my explanations may be a little unsophisticated. Right. So what's going to change from image to image is the stuff that the green pigment has stained. Right. And to help you try to identify these, uh, these things, you can zoom in on any particular area. Again, left click to lock the zoom in portion, left click again to look at something else. You can also click uh, any of the colored buttons at the bottom uh, to show different combinations of colors. So if you just want to look at the green by itself, you can do that. If you want to look at the red and the blue together, you can do that. If you want to look at the red and the green together, you can do that. 
When you first open up Project Discovery, you will be given a set of tutorial samples uh, for which the answers are already known by the HPA scientists. Uh, and it's basically just for training purposes for you. All right. So the way you're going to categorize these is that you will be clicking on or off various option, options presented on the right-hand side. For the tutorial cell samples, you won't be able to click on most of them. It'll just provide you a limited range. That way you're not trying to hunt through the entire thing when you're just learning the system. So the four options here, it's asking us, has the green stuff stained the entire nucleus? Or has it only stained the nucleoplasm? Or has it only stained nu the nucleoli? Or has it only stained the nuclear membrane? All right, so what part of the cell has the green pigment stained. So that's the question that you're being asked. Uh, and if you mouse over each of the options, it will give you a description to that effect. For example, if I mouse over nucleoplasm, it'll give me some examples here. All right? And the text says, the nucleoplasm encompasses everything in the nucleus except the nucleoli, a few small elongated circles, and this overlaps with the blue marker. Well, that does not describe what I'm looking at here. Or at least uh, nucleoplasm uh, doesn't seem to fit. At least not in my opinion. I, I tried taking a look at Project Discovery on the Singularity Test Server. I was only mm, moderately good at it, I think. Still need to practice it. Uh, let's see. Nucleus. The nucleus takes up a big part of the cell volume and looks like a big round ball. It overlaps with a blue marker and is evenly stained. Well, it overlaps, sure, but, um... I wouldn't call this evenly stained, so I don't think that's it. A nuclear membrane, if this is what nuclear membranes look like when it's stained by the green stuff, uh, pretty sure that's not it. That So that just leaves nucleoli. So I'm guessing nucleoli by process of elimination. Uh, certain features cannot be stained at the same time. Uh, I don't know how that logic was implemented or what the reasoning behind it is. Again, I'm not a biologist. <laughs> Much less am I a cellular biologist, for that matter. But when you click on certain options, that will exclude other options. So the system is telling you that both things can't be stained at the same time. This can't be nucleoli and nucleoplasm. So this is my best guess. This image features nucleoli, but it doesn't feature anything else of the options presented to me. So I'm going to click Submit. Alright, and it will give you a set of results, and it tells me that I am wrong. <laughs> Big surprise there. Alright, so this green hexagon indicates a correct answer that I missed and the red hexagon indicates a wrong answer that I had indicated. So it's not actually nucleoli, it's nucleus. Go figure. Uh, here the blue staining is in your way. Switch off the blue markers and you can see that the green staining in the nucleus is evenly stained and way brighter than the staining of the rest of the cell. Huh. Okie dokie. I'm going to continue on then. Sample number two. Hmm. This one looks a lot more straightforward. I'm going to zoom in on this one. Uh, by default, it's going to show you this, uh, the combination of all three. But I'd like to be able to toggle on and off each color individually. So my first order of business is just toggling it on uh, just these three things down here. Now this looks very much like nucleoplasm, because it seems to have the features that it's describing. Uh, encompasses everything in the nucleus except the nucleoli. That's a very good description of it. So that excludes nucleus as a possible option there. Uh, what else? Nuclear speckles. So this tutorial sample is allowing me to choose between one of four possibilities. So are there any cases of nuclear speckles here? Because this one's suspicious. Hmm. 
No, that looks like the other one. Let's see. No, I don't think I see any of them that are cases of nuclear speckles. Uh, nothing that looks like the nucleoli example. I'm thinking it's just nucleoplasm, so I'm going to go with this. All right, I got that right. So I have a green check mark. There was only one correct answer that was actually present, and that's the one I chose. All right. Uh, if I mouse over the exclamation mark, this is nucleoplasm. It is identified by even green staining in the nucleus. What makes this different from the nucleus category are the holes in the green staining. Notice how they match up with the holes in the blue staining. So there you go. Tutorial sample number three. All right, so this one, this tutorial sample, for this exercise, I'm being limited to three choices. Mitochondria, and that doesn't look, none of these look like mitochondria. Uh, cytoskeleton, cytokinetic bridge. No, I'm not seeing anything like that here. Uh, microtubule organizing center, that's a possibility these kind of look like it. And the other one is centrosome. Hmm. Single centrosome. Singular double spots which overlaps with the center of the microtubules. Red marker. Overlaps the center of the microtubules. Next to the nucleus. Whereas this other one is microtubule organizing center. A small and somewhat diffuse structure that overlaps with the center of the microtubules next to the nucleus. Huh. So they both overlap with the center of the microtubules. That's... Hmm. So centrosome is single or double spots, whereas the microtubule organizing center is more diffuse. All right. Then let's look at these two. That I'm guessing that looks diffuse. Yeah, I'm going to guess microtubule organizing center. I'm not seeing any other features of the options that were presented to me. All right, I got that right. One green check mark, and no empty green hexagons, and no red X's. Okay, tutorial sample number four. Now, for this exercise, I'm being... Keep in mind, for these tutorial exercises, a lot of these options are grayed out. Uh, it's... Th these are all going to be multiple choice questionnaires, really. What is or is not present in the image? For actual images, once you get past the tutorials, you will have to choose between the entire range of options. But for the tutorials, it'll present you with a more limited range so that you can get used to the system. So, uh, the green pigment has either stained the cytoplasm or it has stained the centrosomes or it has stained the vesicles. So what's going on here? Which of these features, if any, are present? All right. Well, for vesicles, small bright dots that are uniform in size and shape. They are either evenly distributed throughout the cell or clustering next to the nucleus blue marker, but never in the nucleus itself. Keep in mind, in, in, this, tutor, uh, in this example image for vesicles, you'll see tiny little green dots in the blue marker. So, it, so the example seems to be contradicting itself. But keep in mind, we're looking at microscopic images of three-dimensional structures. What I'm guessing is going on is that some of these green spots are still outside the nucleus. They're just behind the above or below the nucleus, or rather, behind or in front of the nucleus. It's in a straight line between the camera 
the dot and the nucleus, but the dot's not actually in the nucleus. So I think that's what's going on. Not entirely sure. Um, this doesn't seem to be cytoplasm. The cytoplasm examples seem to be thicker. Uh, I don't think it's cetrosome, but I'll take a closer look in a moment. I'm thinking vesicles are present. So the green stuff has stained the vesicles, and I could be wrong. Let me think. Let me take a look at this without the red. Hmm. Now that I turn off the red pigment, let me zoom out again. Hmm. Small bright dots, uniform in size and shape, either... Yeah, okay. I'm still thinking vesicles. This is, I don't think this is cytoplasm. But centrosomes. Are there any cases of centrosomes in here? Gonna have to turn on the red for that one. No, I think it's just vesicles. No! Okay. This is granular cytoplasm. Use the green-only view and notice that there are very many bright dots, but unlike vesicles, this pattern has significant signal in the cytoplasm outside those dots and is far too many dots to be vesicles. Ha! Huh. Okie dokie. I shall keep that in mind. Did I mention I am not a cellular biologist? <laughs> Tutorial sample number five. Alright, so the choices being presented to me are cytoskeleton at actin filaments, very long, long, very straight and parallel filaments that outline the edges of the cell. Uh, I don't think that's what's shown here, but I'll check in a moment. Golgi apparatus is located next to the nucleus, sometimes lying around or above it. It often looks like a collection of small, dense particles that may be donut-shaped. Hmm. I'll figure that out in a moment. Vesicles. Again, small bright dots, uniform in size and shape, but they are either... Hmm. Alright, maybe this one really is vesicles. I don't think it's actin filaments. I don't think it's cytoskeleton actin filaments, because that doesn't seem to be what's highlighted. Because I, I think I can see those actin filaments on the red, but not the green. And it's the green that we care about for these judgments. So, we've got the red here. So I think these might be actin filaments in the red pigment. But the green pigment is not following it. So because the green, because I think there might be actin filaments in here, but because the green pigment hasn't stained it, it's not what we care about. So I'm not going to click on cytoskeleton actin fi filaments here. So I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Uh, Golgi apparatus. Um, I don't see any cases of that here. Or at least I, at least I don't think I do. Yeah, I, I don't think it's Golgi apparatus. I am. I know I guessed this last time, but I'm guessing it really is vesicles this time. But we'll see in a moment. Okay, I got it right this time. These cells sh show very bright dots indicating vesicles. Notice some signal appears to overlap with the nucleus, blue, but upon close inspection, this is very blurry. 
indicating the signal is out of focus. These are vesicles sitting above or below the nucleus and not nuclear bodies within the nucleus. All right. So like I said, we're looking at three-dimensional structures here. There's only going to be a, f a single flat plane that's actually in focus for the camera, but there are still things above and below that plane. Right. So let's continue. Tutorial sample number six. And the three options that I'm being presented with here are cytoskeleton, cytokinetic bridge. Uh, cytoskeleton intermediate filaments and rods and rings. So let me take a close look at these images. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing any of the rods and rings. Let me turn off the red for a moment. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that looks like rods and rings. So I can rule that out. Uh, I don't see any uh, cytokinetic bridges, but let me double check that. So I'm just looking at red and green, but not the blue. Yeah, I don't see any cytokinetic bridges either. Uh, I'm thinking cytoskele cytoskeleton intermediate filaments, often seen as tangled rope-like structure throughout the cell. Some are smaller and enclose the nucleus, blue marker, and have a more condensed look. Yeah, I think these are intermediate filaments. So I'm going to click that on, and let's see if I got that right. Yes, I got that right. And mousing over the exclamation mark, if you turn off the blue filter, you can see there is no green staining in the nucleus. Notice how the green staining looks like thin strands, stretching over the cell and encircling the nucleus. This is an example of intermediate filaments. Sample number seven. All right, I'm suspecting this is going to be the first tutorial sample that's showing multiple features. And in real samples, when you get past the tutorials, you're gonna encounter something like that. So, I'm noticing that there's green staining in the nuclei. Uh, let's take a look at this one as an example. That's the blue, that's the green, that's the blue, that's the green. And let's look at this one here. Blue, green, blue, green, and I'm noticing there are holes in the same places. So I'm pretty sure it's mar that it has stained the nucleoplasm. It's not the entire nucleus, and I don't think it's nuclear speckles. But there's other things going on here as well. There are other green dots uh, somewhere in the cytoplasm. Uh, so it's not actin filaments. Uh, I don't think I see any examples of the Golgi apparatus. but I think I'm looking at vesicles. So I'm gonna click that on as well. So in this image, I think I'm seeing nucleoplasm and vesicles. Keep in mind, all these different parts that I'm describing are present in almost all of these cells. They all have vesicles, they all have nuclei, they all have cytoplasm, uh, so on and so forth. So. A lot of these elements that you can choose from on the right-hand side are actually present in a cell because that's what the cell has. But what we're interested in is what has the green stuff attached itself to? That's what we're interested in. And in this case, the green stuff has attached itself to the nucleoplasm and the vesicles, I think. Yes, I got that right. The green signal in these cells overlapping the blue marker with holes corresponding to holes in the blue staining indicates nucleoplasm. Additionally, the bright dots outside the nucleus mark vesicles. So I got that right. 
So both of these features are present. Tutorial sample number eight. Okie dokie. So the options that I'm allowed to choose between for this tutorial, cytoskeleton intermediate filaments, uh, mitochondria, cytoplasm, uh, plasma membrane, focal adhesions, and cell junctions. So let's see. Let me look at this part of the image. So this is green, this is red. Green, red, green, red. And the green extends beyond the red. It overlaps, the green is overlapping with the red. Here's the green. Here's the red, which has some of the same shape, but doesn't go as far as the green does. Notice that the red is absent from here and from here. So the green reaches further than the red. Right. So I think what I'm looking at is plasma membrane. So that's definitely present. What else? Uh, cell junctions can only be observed when the cells are in contact at the actual site of cell-to-cell -cell connections. Uh, hard to... Hmm. Hard to tell. I, I don't think that's the case, but the plasma membrane could be covering that up. But I'm guessing no. Uh, focal adhesions. Located under the cell or at the edge of the cell membrane, where the cell is attached to the surface. Probably the surface of the microscope slides or something. Hmm. There are bits of green beyond the red. But it's not at the tips of the red. Uh, I, don't, I don't think those are focal adhesions. Uh, cytoskeleton. Are there any cases of cytoskeleton here? Not that I'm seeing. I could be wrong, but I think I'm just looking at plasma membrane. I don't see any stronger concentrations of this stuff. Um, as for cytoplasm, it, it's really for cyto... I, I think I think I'm only looking at the plasma membrane. Let's see. Okay, I got that partially right. So yes, I was looking at plasma membrane, but I missed the cytoplasm. So there's also, cytoplasm was also stained. The plasma membrane in these cells is readily identifiable by the distinctive protrusive edges. In addition, there is a large amount of signal evenly distributed throughout the cell indicating cytoplasm. The slight overlapping the nucleus is out of focus. Cytoplas okay. The slight overlapping on the nucleus is out of focus cytoplasm bleeding into the nucleus. All right, so this is green pigment that is out of focus. So again, it's either above or below the focus plane of uh, the plane, the geometric plane that the camera is focused on. So I only got that part right. I shall have to keep that in mind. Tutorial sample nine. I am only being presented three options, agrosomes, the Golgi apparatus, and vesicles. Let's see what we have here. So agrosomes can be seen as very dense oval balls next to the nucleus, blue marker. It overlaps with a hole in the mark microtubules, red marker. All right. Uh, so let's see. Uh, no, I don't 
think any of these are agrosomes. At least I don't believe so. Yeah, it's not the right. Sh I don't think it's the right shape. Uh, could it be Golgi apparatus? Might be Golgi apparatus. Maybe. Although I thought the Golgi apparatus was wrapped tightly to the nucleus. I think it's just vesicles. I mean, granted, there are... There seems to be clusters... I mean, there seems to be clusters, but some of these clusters are away from the nucleus, so I'm a little unsure. Alright, I'm gonna guess vesicles and Golgi apparatus. Oh! They are both present! Okay. The strongest green staining in this image is found in dense collections around the nucleus. This corresponds to the Golgi apparatus. The small and uniformly sized spots distributed throughout the cell are vesicles. In this case, we ignore the nucleus staining because it is not nearly as bright as the rest as the rest of it. Huh. Alright, so I guess only part of the Golgi apparatus needs to be attached to, to the nucleus. Okay. And here's the last tutorial sample. All right, so what do we have here? All right, so for the nucleus, what is this? Nucleoli fibrillar center, clusters of small spots in the nucleoli, which are small, somewhat elongated circles within the nucleus, overlapping with holes in the blue marker. Oh, you can mouse, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed, you can mouse over any one of the options available to you, then put your mouse over the big pop-up, and then mouse over any of the other examples. But I don't think I'm looking at nucleoli. This is too evenly distributed. Um, it's not evenly stained through the nucleus. I don't think it's speckles. It might be nucleoplasm? Yeah, it might be weakly stained nucleoplasm. As for any... Oh, wait a minute. Yep, that's a cytokinetic bridge. Uh, let's see what else is here. There is some green stuff outside. Outside the nucleus. I don't think it's agrosomes, though. I think I've identified the two major features that are available as choices here. Let me go ahead and submit. Alright, I got that right. Notice how two cells have a bridge between them, with concentrated green staining on each side. This is a cytokinetic bridge. These cells have almost finished dividing. Alright. Also notice how there is green staining in the nucleus. So we must mark that as well, since it has holes in the overlapping with 
uh, since it has holes in the green overlapping with holes in the blue, we mark it as nucleoplasm. All right. All right. So that concludes the tutorial examples. Now I'm being presented with real samples here. So, let's see how I do with my first real case on the Tranquility server. So this looks like some sort of... There are big green splotches in the nuclei. And it looks like the gr there is no green staining outside the nuclei at all. So I don't think there are any cytoplasm features here. So let's see what our options are. No, not nuclear membrane. No, I don't think it's nucleoli. Uh, nucleoli rim? Probably not. Clear staining on the edge of the nucleoli, which are small, somewhat elongated circles with a nucleus. Overlapping with holes in the blue marker. It's not the nucleoli rim. I think it's just the nucleoli. The whole nucleoli. So I'm pretty sure that's present. Uh, hmm. Well, the nucleoli are stained, I'm fairly sure, but there's also green staining, very weak, throughout the rest of the nucleus. What is that? Hmm. Uh, I I'm not going to mark that as nucleus. Um, keep in mind, all this red and green and blue, these cells, like I said, these cells are stained meaning that they're exposed to certain chemicals that these chemicals have a part that glows under the correct kind of light. Uh, so they probably took pictures of this stuff under red light, green light, blue light, uh, and it's the same subject so they can overlay the different parts, I think. Again, I'm not exactly sure how this is done. Um... But the chemicals with the green glowy stuff, in order for that stuff to get to, to attach itself to a structure inside the nucleus, it has to get inside the nucleus. So I'm not going to mark off, despite the fact that I'm seeing green staining in the rest of the nucleus, I don't think I want to mark off nucleus here because the green pigment has attached itself primarily to the nucleoli. But in order to get to the nucleoli, these chemicals had to get into the nucleus in the first place. Uh, so that's what I th that's what I think I'm looking at. I'm not seeing any other features in the green staining that suggest that I should be looking at other options as well. Uh, so I'm going to click submit. Okay, so this is probably a sample that other players have looked at under live conditions, and the general consensus... Or is that my, is that my interpretation? No. Alright, so I guess, I'm guessing the, tutorial, the first ten samples were actual tutorial samples that did not affect my rating one way or the other. Uh, but for some reason, this foreign cell sample has already been evaluated. I guess I'm still being tested. All right. Uh, so now my accuracy rating has gone up a little bit. So it started off at 50%. Now I'm at 51.8%. All right. Foreign cell samples. Hmm. What is this? That's interesting. I don't remember seeing a feature like... Hold on. 
Yeah, I don't remember seeing a feature like that before. Let me figure out what this is. <clears throat> so, I've got green staining in a hole where the red and blue staining are not present. What is this? Alright, it's not any of the nuclear structures, I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, we would see m uh, much more significant green staining uh, mixed in with blue staining. I mean, there's a couple of tiny spots there, but I don't think any of the nuclear structures are, pr uh, are stained here. So what is this? It doesn't match the shape of these things. I don't think it's rods and rings. I don't think it's plasma membrane. Either cell to cell variations, either varying intensity of the same location in different cells, or differences in location, either varying intensity of the same location in different cells, or differences in location between cells. Hmm. I don't know what I'm looking at here. What are the criticisms that I've seen of this system is that um, there's no pass option for a given image. So there's no button for, I have no idea what this is, show me something else. Uh, but yeah, given that most of the cells are not stained, I'm going to lean towards negative. No or extremely weak green staining is seen in the image. So that's what I think this is. Cytoplasm. Oh, agrosome. Agrosome can be seen as a very dense oval ball next to the nucleus. Oh, so that's what an agrosome looks like. Alright. By the way, you don't want to let your accuracy rating drop too far. Uh, uh, below certain thresholds, I think 30% and 40%. I think below 40% you get half rewards, below 30% you don't get any rewards at all, I think. So moving on to another cell sample. And it's taking a while to load. All right, I've skipped ahead to where I managed to actually get Project Discovery to respond to me. All right, so here is the next is, is the next sample I'm being given. Hmm, this is suspicious right off the bat. I'm inclined to think cell-to-cell -cell variations. But besides that, I'm seeing nuclear membrane. I'm seeing nucleus.
There is some green staining in some of the gaps of the blue staining. Might be nucleoli. Let me take a look at other parts of the image. Yeah, I'm thinking nucleoli, nuclear membrane, and nucleus. And clearly, some of these cases also have a bit of staining in the cytoplasm somewhere. As you can tell, this is hard. But I'm gonna guess... Alright, so this is what I'm guessing. I think I'm looking at cytoplasm. At least very weakly, because some of it's out in the red staining where there is no blue staining. So it's clearly outside the nucleus but still within the cell. Uh, I'm seeing cases of nuclear membrane, uh, nucleoli, and some staining just throughout the nucleus as a whole. So there is some staining throughout the nucleus as a whole, but it's more concentrated staining on the nuclear membrane, as well as on structures inside the nucleus. Although I'm not sure if it's nucleoli or nucleoli rim. But there's also cell-to-cell -cell variations. Because this one... This one, the green staining, doesn't uh, look the same as this next one. So that's what I think I'm looking at here. What is this green spot? Maybe that's a focal adhesion. Uh, you cannot select more categories for one sample. Please review selection to make sure it is accurate. Uh, it's hard to tell. Alright, I'm guessing these five. Only nuclear membrane. Huh. Then what's this thing? What is this thing? Alright. I'm just going to do one more example. Oh, gee whiz. I'm going to do one more example and then end the video, uh, but as you can see, this is not easy. Um, Alright, so... I don't think the green staining is anywhere in the nucleus. I mean, you see some of it in the area for the nucleus, but it's probably green staining that's uh, in front of or behind the nucleus in question. So I don't think anything in the nucleus has been stained. Uh, I think it's just cytoplasm. Also, I just noticed that there's a checkbox down here called abnormal sample, but I don't know what that does.
Yeah, I think the green staining in this case is just the cytoplasm. What is this? Yeah, I think the green staining is just for the cytoplasm for this image. That's, I think that's what's going on. Uh, I regret to inform you that your submission was lost during a laboratory accident. The incident has been noted in our logs. I'm afraid we will have to start over with a new sample. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Hmm. So I don't even know if I was correct on that one or not. Alright, I guess I will do one more. Uh, this one... Looks like a pretty clear case. Yeah, I think it's a pretty clear case of just a nuclear membrane. Yeah, I think that's just nuclear membrane. And I do notice nuclear membrane has some dots in it, but... Anyway. Alright. I'm gonna guess nuclear membrane. Alright, I seem to be correct on that. So yeah, that is... Project Discovery, All right? And as you can see, I'm only so-so at this. Did I mention I'm not a cellular biologist? <laughs> All right, but that should give you an overview of what uh, Project Discovery is about. Uh, and just as a quick note, let me see if I can check for my analysis credits in the journal. Uh, agents, loyalty points, Maybe it's not in loyalty points. Uh, yeah. it, it's it's a new currency called analysis credits. Uh, I did not think to go to a Sisters of Eve station for this, uh, but if you're in a Sisters of Eve station, uh, you should be able to check uh, the loyalty point store, and there will be a column for analysis for an analysis credits cost. Uh, but I'm gonna end the video here. That should give you an idea of what Project Discovery is about. Uh, thank you for watching.